Curriculum and Methods in Environmental Education The National Curriculum Framework NCF 2005 envisages a structure that articulates required experiences and addresses some basic questions like what educational purposes should the schools seek to achieve? What educational experiences in environmental education can be provided that help to achieve these goals? How these educational experiences can be meaningfully organized to achieve the objective? and how do we ensure that these educational purposes are indeed being accomplished. Status of Environmental Education in School Education The education system in India had incorporated certain aspects of environment in school curricula as early as 1930. The Kothari Commission 1964-66 also suggested that basic education had to offer environmental education and relate it to the life needs and aspirations of the people and the nation. At the primary stage, the report recommended that the aims of teaching science in the primary schools should be to develop proper understanding of the main facts, concepts, principles, and processes in physical and biological environment. Environmental education at primary, secondary, higher secondary levels was treated in a different way. Environmental education is an essential part of every pupil's learning. It helps to encourage awareness of the environment, leading to informed concern for active participation in resolving environmental problems. It was understood without any delay from class 1 as EVS as a subject so that right from their childhood, the right attitudes towards environment will be nurtured in the young minds. It is important that we capture this enthusiasm and that no opportunity is lost to develop knowledge, understanding and concern for the environment through school education. The curricular cross-curricular attempt of environmental education also should be a joy for the learner. In this direction, NCERT has published in collaboration with the Center for Environmental Education, Ahmedabad, a book titled Joy of Learning with lot of environmental activities, a handbook for teachers. Similarly, several workshops were conducted to orient school teachers and educational functionaries of the state boards on various aspects of environmental education. Strategy for successful implementation of environmental education in schools were discussed in detail in these interactions. A curricular framework of environmental education. It emphasizes the place of environmental education in the school curriculum, place of environmental education vis-a-vis -vis other subjects of study, mode and strategy of inclusion of chapters at different levels, environmental education in terms of time and allocation of marks, development of syllabi and instructional material for dissemination at different levels of school education. In order to supplement the analysis of individual and institutional consultations, it was decided to organize two face-to-face -face national consultations on environmental education in schools. The first consultation on the academic subjects of environmental education in school was organized by NCERT on 13th, 14th February. February 2004 in New Delhi. 70 participants comprising eminent scientists, environmentalists, officials of central and state government departments dealing with environment, senior academicians attached to departments, centers of environmental studies, environmental science, environmental ecology, botany, regional development, geography, marine biology, etc. of different universities, teachers, educators, principals of teachers training colleges, prominent non-governmental organizations, and NCERT faculty took part in deliberations. The second consultations on the implementation of environmental education in schools was held on 13th March 2004. 72 officials comprising presidents, chairpersons of boards, councils of school education, directors of state councils of educational research and training, directors of education in the state, eminent scientists, environmentalists, and NCERT faculty participated. The initial draft 
prepared by NCERT faculty presented in the first consultation was revised as per the suggestions received. The revised version was presented in the second consultation and suggestions for further improvement were received. Various issues were deliberated in these consultations through plenary presentations, open house discussion, interaction in groups, and consolidation of recommendations. Aims and Objectives of Environmental Education The objectives of environmental education is to increase public awareness about environmental issues, explore possible solutions solutions and to lay the foundations for a fully informed and active participation of individual in the protection of environment and the prudent and rational use of natural resources. The resolutions provide the following guiding principles for environmental education. The environment as a common heritage of mankind, the common duty of maintaining, protecting and improving the quality of education as a contribution to the protection of human health and safeguarding guarding the ecological balance, the need for a prudent and rational utilization of resources, the way in which each individual can, by his own behavior and action, contribute to the protection of environment, the long-term aims of environmental education are to improve management of environment and provide satisfactory solutions to environmental issues, provide opportunities to acquire the knowledge, values, attitudes, commitment, and skills needed to protect and improve the environment, encourage pupils to examine and interpret the environment from a variety of perspectives, physical, geographical, biological, sociological, economic, political, technological, historical, aesthetic, and ethical. Arouse pupils' awareness and curiosity about the environment and encourage active participation in resolving environmental problems. Environmental education is closely linked to the other cross-curricular themes of other subject areas. For effective transaction of environmental education, following objectives related to knowledge, skills, and attitudes are essential. Knowledge as a basis for making informed judgments about the environment, people should develop knowledge and understanding of the natural processes which take place in the environment, the impact of human activities on the environment, the comparison between different environments both in the past and present, environmental issues such as the greenhouse effect, acid rain, and air pollution, local, national, and international legislative controls to protect and manage the environment, how policies and decisions are made about the environment, how human life and livelihood are dependent on the environment, the conflicts which can arise about environmental issues like river water sharing, how the environment has been affected owing to past decisions and actions the importance of planning and design and an aesthetic consideration, the importance of effective action to protect and manage the environment skills. Six crosses circular skills have been identified which are necessary for environmental education. They are communication skills, numerical skills, study skills, problem solving skills, personal skills, social skills, and information technology skills. Attitudes. Promoting positive attitudes towards the environment is essential if students are to value it and understand their role in safeguarding it for the future. Encouraging the development of attitudes in personal qualities listed below will contribute to the process. Appreciation of care and concern for environment, concern for all living things on earth, independent thought on environmental issues, respect for others' opinion, respect for rational argument and evidence, tolerance to face others' views. Environmental education can be thought of as comprising three linked components, education about the environment, that is knowledge, education for the environment, that is values, attitudes, and positive actions, and education through the environment, a resource. Environmental education is a process that aims at the development of environmentally literate citizens who can compete in global economy, who have the skills and knowledge and inclination to make well-informed choices concerning the environment, and who exercise the rights and responsibilities of the members of a community. Environmental knowledge contributes to an understanding and appreciation of the society, technology and productivity, and conservation of natural and 
cultural resources of their own environment. Environmental education has an ability to solve the societal needs and needs of a community problems and the solutions and workforce for tackling cooperative minds. We need the school children to share and develop the motivation from school about various environmental issues which are challenges of today and prepare them for the future. Environmental education must become a vehicle for engaging young minds in the excitement of first-hand observation of the nature and understanding the patterns and processes in the natural and social worlds in order to take care of the habitat and its surroundings which become a major part of EE in both primary and upper primary stages of school education. In the secondary and senior secondary stages, also some of the major issues such as environmental protection, management and conservation are to be dealt in more detail.